All right, here we go with round number two. So I'm in a hotel right now, and there's the fan, the AC fan's going, so I don't know if there's background noise from that, so I apologize in advance if there is. So for this hole to start out, hopefully we do better in the first round, man. That one hole was brutal. We're gonna go with the glide roll rive. We're gonna slide over, bottom chevron kind of right down here. And from here, we're going to pull straight down. Glad I went instead of you. Why? Underneath the popcorn bucket. I don't think you were looking. We got lucky there to hit the tree. 45 feet. Just a little putt for birdie. Turn the volume up. Don't make any noise and ruin my video. My wife's glaring at me right now. All right, here we're gonna go glide sapphire, slide to the right, middle chevron right down there, then a straight pull down. Mm -hmm. Oh no. How did it turn so much bounce? Oh, we might have got lucky. Shoot. That was not the best. I don't know why it turned that much. Let's see if we can save this. I think I'm gonna throw the skip just to get a little more distance since I'm way back here, but we're gonna to have to flex it around this tree. Oh, that's gonna work. Got lucky there. Hopefully we still have a shot from over here though. Now what do we do? I'm not even sure what we're supposed to do from here. I think we're going to get a little crazy here, do a big old flex forehand with the glide skip. And hopefully get a big skip. No, get through that bush. And I'm okay with that. Better than I thought I'd be from back there, 60. Kind of recover from that bad drive, 60 feet. Get the birdie. On to hole three. This one, we're going to go backhand. What are you sending me right now? <laughs> Light glide. And go top chevron just below that little thing of ice. All right, and then from here, we just want to make sure we don't miss this left. Put a little bit of Anheuser on it. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. Come on, start coming back. Should give us a look at Eagle here. 110. All right, we're going to go with this Faya. Hang on a sec. All right, from there, we're going to go straight down. About right there. Nice. That was actually the exact distance that I practiced, so that worked out nicely. This one, not going to think much on this, just going to react. I do pretty well on this hole usually, so hopefully we can get the eagle on my favorite hole. This is the glide roll rive. Looks to be on a good line, as long as it fades for me. Nice. Just don't go in the water. Okay, phew, that was close. Ooh, almost missed that. Got the eagle there. So we're off to a good start. Hopefully we don't have a hole like we did on the last round. This one, I'll make sure I switch the backhand. We're not gonna slide at all. We're just gonna put that middle chevron right on that shadow there. And we're gonna do a little less than a disc of hyzer. Oh, this looks good. Just give me a good skip for once on this hole. Finally. Hardly ever get a good skip on this hole. Still going to have some work to do here, but I am okay with that. And again, I got lucky. This is the exact distance that I practiced from, so let's hope it pays off here. I'm going to put the bottom chevron right on top of the basket with the Svea. 
and from here we're gonna go down to there no I must have pulled it back farther than I did in practice dang it we missed a good opportunity there 64 feet Ooh, man that tried to spit out man all right at least we got the birdie but really wanted that eagle there had it set up at the exact distance all right we're going for this one i'm gonna go with the vandal on a forehand hopefully this pays off water skip looks to be on a good line oh this looks good get in there dang it just to the left so close I think I'm going to throw this just to make sure we get that birdie on to hole 7. Par 3. Kind of excited to try this line here. All right, we're going to slide to the right with the glide skip rive, middle chevron, right down on the base of this tree. And from here, from here we're going to Power down a little bit and go in the basket now it's gonna miss to the right no skip at all that's all right it's a safe miss it was way too far right anyway <clears throat> a couple more holes left hole eight coming up see what I want to do here all right for this one we're gonna try to make it Feel like I have a decent line. Top chevron pointed down at this rock here. And then from there, straight down, maybe a touch of hyzer. Looks good, it's not gonna hit the ski lift. Go in the basket, oh, just to the left. That's all right. 54 feet. Got that one to go. Now the final hole, tough wind on this last hole. Hopefully we can get a good skip and get down the hill. All right, so the way I practiced it, hopefully it works out. Top chevron right on there. What I don't wanna do is miss to the left here. So we're gonna go about a disc of hyzer, maybe a little bit more. Ah, it's gonna, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Just don't hit that pole. Get down the hill. And we'll have a look. It's not going to be very close, but at least it got down the hill. Birdie at worst case. I didn't practice this at all. Because you never know where you're going to end up on this hole. 185. We're going to go with the link on a forehand. And see if we can drop this in to finish off a solid second round. One eighty five downhill. Go in the basket. Drop. Dang it. Too far. Don't get in that bush. Way too far. Seventy one feet. All right. Don't screw this up, Aaron. All right. We finished it off. No mistakes. We missed that one eagle I thought I was going to get, but hey, I'll take that. Eleven under. Not too shabby much better than the first round. Hopefully we can uh, have solid third and fourth rounds as well.